The dangerous conditions of child labor right here at home. Once thought of as a third world problem or just a page from our history books, children right here in the U.S. are working illegally and in some cases performing dangerous jobs resulting in injuries, sadly even death. Three minors have died on the job since just June. A 16-year-old died at a Mississippi poultry plant entangled in a conveyor belt. Another 16-year-old dead at a Wisconsin sawmill after an accident with a wood stacking machine. And a Missouri teen died at a landfill pilled, pinned between a tractor trailer rig and its trailer. We are talking dangerous working conditions for children and they're surging across the nation. The Department of Labor reports child labor violations are up over 280% since 2015. Minors employed in violation of hazardous jobs up 94%. And as these disturbing, disturbing cases surge, so does the support to roll back child labor protections, many that were enacted over 100 years ago. So to expand on what is certainly a very sensitive topic, we bring in President and CEO of the Iowa Restaurant Association, Jessica Dunker, and Reed Mackey, who is the Director of Child Labor Advocacy with the National Consumers League. Jessica, Reed, we thank you both. Uh, Jessica, first of all, I'd like to start with you. So we're talking about restrictions that include extending work hours, lifting uh, restrictions on hazardous work, uh, things like that. What is the reason for wanting to lower or roll back some of these restrictions? Well, there were several reasons in the state of Iowa, specific to the restaurant industry, which are the ones that I'm most able to speak to. We were taking some reasonable measures and looking at the difference between what happens in a school activity from the standpoint of hours and what happens in a work situation where a 15 year old can't play basketball uh, before 7 p.m., but they're not allowed to work after 7 p.m. So the hours restrictions were really a, a, a reasonable pairing of people's choices, whether it's work or school mm -hmm. activities. Also specific to the restaurant industry was the um, it, enabling of 16 and 17 year olds to be able to sell and serve alcohol, meaning in a restaurant only, not a bar, they can carry a drink under the supervision of two adults with parental permission from a bar to a table, and they are able to run a credit card for that drink. In Iowa, for years, 16 and 17 year olds have been able to sell alcohol in a grocery store, a convenience store, or a box store. So it's simply parity between the restaurant industry and what has already existed in our state. All right, so Jessica, I'd like to, to go in depth a little bit more uh, on the alcohol rules there in Iowa. Uh, but Rita, I, I wanna go over to you first. I mean, what is your biggest concern with uh, some of these rollbacks and some of these proposed rollbacks? Well, there are impacts when you, when you loosen protections, we believe. And the protections are in place for for a good reason. You know, we um, a lot of the protections and we've, we're seeing in the state levels involve uh, allowing kids to work longer hours. And we know that if they work too many hours, their education is impacted. We we believe that there's a cutoff around 18 to 20 hours a week. That's the federal protection is 18 hours uh, uh, during a school week. And we think that's a good protection. And if kids work much more than that, then their grades plummet and their school completion plummets. And the consequences of that can be dire. You know, the lifetime earnings of somebody who makes it through high school and then goes on to college can be, you know, sometimes millions of dollars more than somebody who doesn't. So we don't want kids sacrificing their futures for temporary gain. We're not against work. You know, we, we're fine with kids working in restaurants. Uh, if it's, you know, 18, 20 hours a week, um, that's absolutely fine. We just don't want them to working too late in the evening. And uh, we don't really... Uh, agree with the conflation of sporting activities and school activities with work. Um, I think all of us, all of us who work, recognize the difference between those activities and, you know, school activities and play. Those are, those are things that are important in being a kid, and we shouldn't be asking kids to work too many hours. You know, I certainly had a job uh, when I was 15, when I was 16, you know, worked uh, whatever was allowed at that time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.